We all move along a straight timeline. That's the way in which the universe evolves. But it is possible to affect that flow. <laughs> you got it. In Einstein's theory, time can be affected by speed. That is to say that the faster you move, the more time slows down. As early as 1971, an experiment was done. What they had was two atomic clocks. One of the atomic clocks was kept stationary at the Naval Observatory. The other atomic clock was put on an ordinary passenger jet and flown around the world at the speed of sound. When they brought the passenger jet back, and they compared the clock on the passenger jet with the clock that had been stationary at the Naval Observatory, they found the clock on the passenger jet had actually slowed down. This meant that that plane had actually traveled fractions of a second into the future. Now this one didn't seem that dramatic, but when we have rockets that can go close to the speed of light, this effect will not just be in terms of fractions of a second, it will be in terms of years. In other words, a space traveler going out in space and traveling close to the speed of light she may be out there for only five years, but when she comes back, she could come back and find out that she's younger than her children. So in a nutshell, Einstein's special theory of relativity is about how time is affected by speed. But he had another theory. That theory says that time slows down due to gravity, which means that a clock here at the surface of the Earth actually runs slower than a clock at a higher altitude. About 12,000 miles above us, there are 24 satellites in geosynchronous orbit covering different parts of the Earth. And the way in which the system works is that that satellite is sending a signal at a certain time that reaches your GPS unit at a certain time. We know the time that the satellite sent the signal. We know the time that you received the signal in your unit. Okay? We also know the speed of the signal. It's the speed of light. It turns out that when you know time, and you know speed, you can calculate distance. So that's how the GPS system works. However, engineers found that the system wasn't working properly initially. And the reason is, is they forgot about Einstein's theory of gravity, his general theory of relativity. And when they consulted with the physicists about that, what they realized was that the time, the clock in your unit, is actually running slower than the clocks on board the satellites. It shows that gravity does affect time. This was something that really caught my imagination because of the work of a rather eccentric mathematician by the name of Kirk Girdle. Girdle actually showed that if we were living in a rotating universe, this universe could create loops in time. And by loops in time, I mean you actually have a timeline that's normally in a straight line going from the past, present, and the future is turned into a loop. And you could actually go along that loop in time and you could go back into the past. And he based his work squarely on Einstein's general theory of relativity. That, to me, was another epiphany because I said, good heavens, that's what I want to do. The special theory of relativity allows you to go into the future, but the general theory of relativity allows you to go back into the past. And I thought, that's what I have to study, is the general theory of relativity. <laughs> it took years, <laughs> years, but ultimately I was able to uh, understand Einstein's general theory of relativity. But that's because I had the passion. I knew that the general theory of relativity was going to open up the doorway to the past for me.